<laughs> all the person uh, Jake Catnaw is excused and without any objections, all the person Kubishak will be sitting in for him. Otherwise, let's. Why don't we state our names for the record? Ryan Geeper, Wastewater Superintendent. Uh, Thad Kubishak, all the person. Lee Graff, all the person. Shane Blazer, all the person. Uh, Zach Drewick, Mayor. Bill Clinton, any library board. Andy Barnett, McMillan Library Director. Paul Schmilski, City Clerk. Sorry, I'm trying to get the report ready. Scott here. Kelly, all the person. <laughs> Sushil, City Attorney. Tim DeSorcy, Finance. Joe Azurfel, all the person. Joe Terry, Director of Public Works. Agenda item number two, consider for approval a proposal from ARC Central for architectural services for the McMillan Memorial Library restroom renovation project. Uh, the library board uh, <laughs> worked with the city to develop a uh, request for proposals. We sent that out to uh, every local architectural firm we could find and to a, uh, an additional firm that we have used in the past. Uh, only two of them replied. Uh, the library board is recommending the lower of the two proposals, which is Arc Central, who is a local firm. It's uh, Lucas, who uh, has an office in town. Um, and I think you probably got all the documents we had uh, as part of your package. And if you recall the 2018 budget, uh, Municipal Building Improvement Fund, the uh, uh, $100,000 was budgeted for this project, which is going to be financed um, by the note issue that we'll be discussing later in the evening. The proposal probably will include additional work that might be funded by the Libraries Endowment Fund, but that would be additional beyond the 100000 mm -hmm. It would be maybe a higher grade a finish or it might be additional restrooms in the building depending yeah. upon how it works out. Uh, but the endowment normally would support a capital project by the city at the library. So when it comes to the payment of those, is the endowment going to get money to the city or, or is the contractor going to bill? Just, just I don't know. Okay, <laughs> well we can discuss that. <laughs> we just will work that yeah. out. Okay. <laughs> and this is just for the professional services to design or Yes. Whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah, when it design. actually goes to the public construction, then you'll have to go through. There'll be a bidding, <laughs> yeah, yeah, there'll be a bidding process, bidding. and we'll be working with the city. Yeah. He will design the specs for the oh, bid. Yeah. There'll be bid, and as part of the architectural services, he will also oversee the construction. So right now, I'm just looking at total fees of sixty-five hundred dollars. That's what we're looking at proving right now. Right, and then the construction management of that 4.5 percent of whatever the construction contract. And then we're like looking at bonding to do this. Yeah, that was a part, part of the financing. I, I'm just the I haven't really got up to speed where yep. we are in the bonding and what we're going to bond for and yep, right. those type of things. So I think primarily because we hadn't mm -hmm. um, had a placement reserve established for library improvements. Um, right. You know. The, got some for city buildings and some other mm -hmm. obviously replacement accounts but there wasn't anything established for the library nor has the library set any money aside um, aside from mm -hmm. some other renovation work that was done in the last in the past years this was the first project of the yeah. size that came before the, the city mm -hmm. through the approval our, process our, our operation budget is sufficient for you know replacing lights mm -hmm. and replacing ceilings and things like that but uh, this is far beyond what we have room for in our operations budget been a while since I've been in the restrooms. There is it. They're the same as you remember. Yeah. From so 1970. So is there? I guess uh, I, I, in reading here, we're making it accessible, handicap accessible, or uh, is, we're guess, why it. do we need to do it? To be honest. Well, the restrooms are approaching 50 years old, and they do need work. Uh, the fixtures are bad in them. Some of them okay. are cracked and need replacement. Uh, there's some plumbing issues that would be addressed. Uh, lighting uh, and we're also looking at putting in it. about half of this project is a full uh, family bathroom mm -hmm. which is big enough for a spouse to accompany someone in a wheelchair a father to take his daughter in a mother to take their son in uh, all those situations where uh, our current facilities meet code as long as we don't touch them right. uh, but 
as soon as we touch them, then they don't meet code. And then we need something like a family bathroom. And we kind of desperately need a family bathroom. Uh, if you've ever been in the bathrooms on our children's side, <coughs> they are real closets. Uh, and they are not meant for family use. There isn't room for a stroller in one of those, for example. Uh, so this addresses uh, accessibility. It addresses the family bathroom situation. And it addresses some facilities that are really, really outdated and very heavily used. Okay. And this was something that was discussed during budget that this mm -hmm. part. Okay. Yep. I guess my only concern would be actual bonding for a project like this with the, uh, I, I don't want to say $100,000 is a little loan, but it is in terms of bonding. What are we looking at for a payback period of time? Something like a 10 year? 10 year. It, is that yeah. a case where we can actually work with a local bank or something on an RFP? Well, because the cost of bonding is so expensive mm -hmm. rather than just taking out a conventional 10 year loan for this. Right, and what it is is that, you know, since we're going to the market on an annual basis for our street reconstruction and other projects, we're just adding this on to that. This is lumped in so with other yeah, Exactly. Oh, so okay. it's part of the, two, the $2.1 million that we'll be discussing a little, a little later on the agenda. So kind of the theory is, is that, you know, as we evaluate all our building improvement needs and identify projects and improvements, is coming up with that plan as, as, you know, when we're going into the market, if we don't have other sources of revenue to fund those projects, that we just kind of add this on to that so we can start addressing some of these things as opposed sure. to having a large one down the road when we, you know, kind of stuff starts to fail. Okay. Anyone else? I'd entertain a motion on, on the item. All right, maybe. I'll make the motion. As it's presented on the agenda to approve. I'll second. Motion and a second to approve the proposal from Arc Central for architectural services for McMillan Memorial Library restroom renovation project. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Agenda number two, consider for approval a special events application submitted by current Wisconsin Rapids for an event called Downtown on Tap to be held in conjunction with Cranberry Blossom Fest from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. on June 15th, 2018. Um, and this is in our package. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you want me to speak to the event, but yeah, it's in conjunction with Cranberry Blossom Fest that's in its second, it's in its second, um, it's in its second year. And uh, yeah, the, there are, um, various premises extensions included with the application. So you may want to, can they note that in their motions? Yeah, because those are really separate from the... I believe there's five, okay, there are five issues, premise yeah. extensions and then you can just move to those as well. Does anyone have any questions on the event? Well, the, the, yeah, I guess that um, as far as the law enforcement standpoint, did we talk with the chief? Did anybody talk with any anyone from uh, the PD in terms of how it went last year? I mean, it went great last year. Obviously, yeah. this would be. I mean, I believe it was perfectly fine last year. I don't know. Were you? Did you attend the event? Um, uh, but I'll just say that in just from a process standpoint, every time we get a special events application, all departments get a crack at providing some feedback. So okay. just so you, you're aware, fire and police both yeah. as well as public works. And they go through committee standpoint. for two years. And then if they keep reoccurring. Without they issue. Yeah. Then She's they get her to approval. Yeah. This year two must be two. Two. Yeah. And this is the only one, is it? The only event. The only extended was. premise, the event that has an extended license like that. Well, downtown and tap is yeah. separate than the the um, street dance and all the other stuff that yeah, happened. Yeah, before. Well, that would be Fourth of July. Just yeah, this one would have an it's multiple things. Kind of yes, they do. Right. 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 This, this one is a separate yeah. event. Yeah, this one's like that. sort of a showcase of the downtown taverns, I guess. So they they like to. It's kind of a bar crawl, and the streets are shut down, so they can go in. It's it's a pretty short event. I think it's only five to five to nine five or nine. Nine. So. The other events usually have, we would give a, a temporary picnic license 
as part of the like the aqua ski or sort of so they're they're providing their own beer so the, <coughs> the bars themselves then aren't supposed to be right. you know involved I mean that you're giving a liquor license for that area to to the nonprofit but this is an event where actually the alcohol there is no additional alcohol it's it's from each of the taverns so it's it has a kind of different. I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second. Do we have to do all five of them? Oh, I'll make a motion to approve the, the events application along with the premise extensions requested by, I, I think can, it was five I individuals. Can, I can list them on okay. the record. And I will second. Any further discussion on the item? All in favor? I aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Did you vote? For the oh, I'm sorry, yes. Okay. <laughs> motion to vote. Motion carries 3 0. <laughs> Agenda item number four consider for approval a request from the Wisconsin Rapids Rafters to hold a non baseball event, the Rushing Rapid, Rapids Craft Beer Festival at Witterfield on September 8th, 2018. And I thought. John was going to be here, but I think maybe they're finally getting a baseball game in at, at winter after the snow, so maybe he's attending to some high school games. Um, this is the same event that they had last year. The lease provides that uh, they get a certain number of baseball events to have at the field as part of their lease, and then they can have non-baseball events, but if there are events that actually are revenue producers for them, that we require them to come and get approval, and then we have charged $250 in the past for an event like this. So um, I would recommend approval with the $250 fee. I'll make that motion to approve the event along with the $250 fee. I'll second that, but I do got uh, further discussions. With oh. this, technically this would be a temporary Class B, right? Because no, they have a license for the facility for yeah. the entire year. They actually have it, so they fall right. within that. Right. But mm -hmm. with it being like a special event, we're able to um, decide whether we do it or not. Well, right. It, it's more. This is more of a lease issue that we say you have a lease. You can have your baseball games, but if you're going to do non-baseball events there, you have to come and get permission. So sure. it really, it's it's more of a lease issue to give them permission to have the event. Not necessarily even about the alcohol, because the alcohol license already, you know, they already have an alcohol license for the premises that we've given them for the entire year, so. Now is it, that, and maybe you don't know, um, is this a, f a fundraiser for like a nonprofit that they get back to? I, I don't believe so. A lot of, some of their events are, and uh, like the movie night and other Boy Scout events and so on. Um, but this is not, and that's why we, we charge them and, and we require a specific approval for it. Sure, thank you. Mm -hmm. Trying to think, because Legion Baseball is done, so there's no conflict there, is there? No, it's right, yeah, it's after everybody's season, okay. so. Perfect. Right. Mm -hmm. And they might have wings, I've heard. Mm -hmm. Also. Start off as the cheese curd oh, festival, and it's kind of evolved from okay. what they were doing. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Any further discussion? All in favor of approving the request from the Wisconsin Rapids Rafters, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries 3 0. Agenda, uh, agenda item number five consider for approval a resolution amending the 2018 budget. Okay, this is a, a budget amendment and basically for the, the wastewater outlay um, budget. Um, actually, it's, a, it's actually the budget is being reduced by $430,000. Basically, what the main driving force behind this is, is that when the 2018 budget was adopted, there was a filtrated equalization project take modification that was originally uh, planned to be done at $1.2 million. But um, a decision has been made subsequent to the adoption of the budget that they're only going to do parts of that project, which reduced that budget down to $600,000. Um, and also um, aligning with, or with the lining of the sewer project on East Grand Avenue, that was anticipated to be done in 2019 as part of the East Grand Avenue reconstruction, but just to kind of help coordinate schedules with the, with the contractor and, and things like that, is that, they're just moving that up a year be completed this year so it's something that they don't have to schedule around next year if there's anything else Ryan or um, Joe Terry sorry 
Well, uh, answer any questions. Basically, yeah, we're just we're only going to do parts of that initial project because uh, through some of the studies Derek and I have performed with nutrients at the plant, uh, we found that a nutrient a filtrate equalization tank would not help our situation. Uh, we don't have a need for it, so to spend you know half a million on it would be kind of a waste. We're going to just forego that um, and kind of reassess what we think is the highest priority on that project and then move forward. Um, so we don't have a real clear picture as to whether or not it's going to help, so we want to wait on it. Um, so that's the big thing. Not to mention the question of who pays for it, right? And Residential it. users are not uh, creating sort of the situation. There is the analysis, so it's a question of do we need our industrial users at the table, uh, yeah. as we've discussed in the past, for some cost participation or cost share on that project. Resolution number was it? I don't have that. Well, yeah. He'll, he'll, he'll sign it when the, the it's adopted. Yeah, I usually give the resolution on that once it's approved, just because so there can be. So the, the money's helpful. being transferred back where then? Well, or is that leaving and just being left in the. It, reserves are used to fund part of that $1.2 million project, so oh. basically we're just, not, we're just not utilizing those reserves. Oh, okay. Kind of budget. Okay. Those are wastewater reserves. Mm -hmm. Oh, wastewater. Okay. okay. Yeah. They're your mark for a wastewater. Yeah, that's okay. in the sewer utility fund. So. Okay. I'll make a motion then to approve the resolution amending the 2018 budget. Second. Motion and a second. Any further discussion? I got a quick follow up question with the budget amendment itself. I think I talked with you, Tim, about it maybe six months ago. Um, has there been any movement in terms of creating an enterprise fund with the sewer uh, department in terms of this? Because once it's actually the money is specifically in the mm -hmm. enterprise fund, then we don't necessarily have to go back and forth between the general fund or, or reserves and to, to make it, like so hypothetically, if this was the opposite where we sure. needed to look for funds to right. be able to pay for it. Well, well, it's a special revenue fund, so this is a segregated account for the wastewater treatment plant sure. operators. It's separate from the general fund. I mean, it, it's accounted for as a special revenue fund, and the same as if it was an enterprise fund, it's separate from the general fund. So it's not being subsidized by the general fund in any way. But then mm -hmm. if it was an enterprise fund, then we could actually really look at the cost of the associated instead of getting mm -hmm. rid of a filtrate uh, equalization tank or whatever. If it's a case where our industrial users are using more, mm -hmm. we could justify it based on a rate structure right. like being a, a, a business type activity uh, enterprise. Right, right. And, and even when we do the rate study, we look at like if, like if it's been treat POD and stuff, and that's what kind of the rate study was doing, so we can start breaking out and identifying those cost savers so the people that are driving that cost center actually gets built into that rate, whether it be a, a flow fee, a BOD charge, CSS, and all the other surcharges that we have. Sure. But the plan for an enterprise fund is with the new financial software, our plan is, is when we implement that, is hopefully that's the time we will make the change to the enterprise fund. I understand, yeah, mm -hmm. there's a whole bunch of assets that we would right. have to convert, yep. and that, that'd be the challenging part. Yep. But once we get there, then it'll be so much cleaner. Yep. Yeah. Right. Any further discussion? The motion is to approve the resolution amending the 2018 budget. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Agenda item number six, review and approve the revised 2018 debt issue. Okay. So if you, if you recall, with a 2018 uh, uh, debt issue um, and as you know part of starting that process I review with the mayor and uh, public works okay are we still on track to do these um, projects and what I did is I sent them this schedule of projects kind of identifying when these might start and so based on that analysis and looking where we are and what we can you know reasonably achieve this year and things like that, I came up with a revised estimate of what we're going to borrow for. And just to kind of walk down the various projects here that are being uh, funded with the, the note issue. Uh, we see there's street, street construction, High Street, 07th to 10th Avenue, and 12th to 17th Avenue. 
are being uh, we're proceeding as planned, as identified in the 2018 budget, as long as Van Buren, 8th Avenue to 10th Avenue North for street construction. Storm sewer, sewer construction that's being funded with the debt proceeds is, is, is part of the High Street 7th to 10th Avenue project. Um, the sidewalk is also being funded with this, as originally planned in the uh, 10th Street South, 330 feet north of Wood Avenue to Grove Avenue. Um, the next project, the Overlook, Balcony and Meads Rapids View Park was originally budgeted at $382,000, but based on kind of looking at the construction schedule and um, wanting to do a, having a final design before we um, we're just going to do the final design this year. Hopefully, have a you know a more accurate number based you know other than a preliminary design. So then that this project would then be budgeted in the 2019 budget, and all that's being funded this year would be the design fees of $62,500. East Riverbank Bike Path Phase One. Uh, we had in the budget seven hundred sixty-three thousand dollars to complete that that project this year. Um, if you recall, back in March, I do believe uh, we awarded that bid to Yankee Contract or Contractors, and that uh, work will be commencing next week. I think. Okay. okay. Um, East Riverbank Phase Two, similar to the Overlook, is. Uh, Reducing that from $1.3 million down to $42,500, and that 42500 would be working on that final design for that project. Um, the regional aquatics facility, we originally had $2.5 million. We're still in the fundraising, so we're looking to not borrow that money until either you know, once we get a clear picture on what the donations are and when that project's going to start. And uh, we look at that, that could be funded mm. either th this fall or an early bond issue next year. Um, right now we have carryover uh, uh, proceeds that are, we still have in a fund dedicated to that project so that if we incur any expenses between now and the actual start of construction, we'd be able to fund, fund that. And then we talked about the library restroom renovation project of $100,000. So based on our original 2008 uh, debt seats Budgeted in 2018 budget, we got six million three hundred thirty-five thousand. Based on the timing of the projects, that is being reduced to. Well, on there it says two million one hundred forty-five thousand dollars, but based on uh, working with Ellers and looking at bond issuance costs, the uh, gross uh, debt issue would be two million one hundred thirty-five thousand dollars. And basically, what we'd be I'd be looking for here is approval to proceed with the financing uh, process. Basically, what we do now is that. This is approved, it, it's approved by council. We'll start putting together the um, official statement. Uh, we'll schedule a ratings call with Moody to get our, our debt issue rated. And then it's anticipated the June councils when we'd have the actual sale of the, the notes. Tim, where does what are any of the categories that would either have a special assessment payback or matching funds associated with them? Uh, the street construction would be the ones where, where we'd have a special assessment associated with that. How about the sidewalk on 10th Street? And the sidewalk. Okay. Correct. Correct. Sorry. What is that um, uh, special assessment for the street or, or at least the utilities with that? Is it 50%? What is it? Is it 40% of the yeah. uh, street construction costs? Mm -hmm. And um, is it 100% of the site? Or, boy, I do not recollect if it's 80 or 100% of the sidewalk cost, but I don't know that that includes the, the grading work. That's just kind of, I'll have to double check on that, but it's, it's substantial for um, sidewalk and curb. That's only if it's not existing already. No, that's if it's existing as well. There, there are no, there are no assessments for the replacement of um, sanitary sewer main or water main uh, or storm sewer. If there are um, services from the house, those are assessed because they are privately owned. Oh, it's still on the property no. line. Okay. It depends. No, for uh, sanitary big sewer big. from the main to the house is yeah. privately owned. Okay. Um, and for water from the uh, curb stop. 
to the houses right on the left. Okay. Okay. It's going to be safe for the deaf. So, uh, right away. Mm -hmm. so then, I guess, you know, honestly, I have no idea what phase two of the East Bite Path is. So, but you're looking at 42.5 just for design, and that's all. That's all at this point. Not, not to do anything of the project. It's Correct. Just it would just be design. Yeah, it would just be the final design on. Because yeah, I'm looking two. for an update on what phase one and two exactly. are. I kind of know what phase one is a little mm -hmm. bit just from. You know, I was hoping to make that walk through, but I didn't get down mm -hmm. there. Um, but yeah. So and then there's nothing on the pool yet. So we. We discussed that down the road. And basically, it was a leverage point, and we yep. had a certain number of donations in to begin construction. Yep. That was kind of the right. Then the thing yeah. we could add it in there. Mm -hmm. it's, it's and phase two design contract has already been approved. Mm -hmm. um, that works underway. This is the method for yep. which the city started. So phase two of the bike path is already underway. The design is yeah. It's about oh. it's about uh, ninety <coughs> percent complete. So we approved the design, or we're, we're designing prior to paying for it, or approving the phase for it? Well, we it, was, it was part of the phase one design contract, so I think that, that was all under one contract. Right. So As was uh, Mead, Mead Rapids View. Right. So the okay. it was all part of one design package, so we could mm -hmm. get an engineering cost estimates mm -hmm. and the ultimate what we could afford or if there was any of the aspects funded at that point. So yes, that's part of that single design package. And in terms of the question, in terms of what's in the scope, we certainly are planning to, to share that based on the request yet, um, what, what components are in each of these aspects of the project. But in short, it's river wall tuck pointing, it's a new railing in Veterans Park, um, it's uh, the new sidewalks in Veterans Park, um, some seating elements potentially. Again, this is all budget dependent, right? Ultimately, what the cost estimates are factoring, but that was kind of the idea is to get the design package done, and then ultimately you could pluck off mm -hmm. different design elements um, to incorporate into the construction if, yeah. if that's decided at that point. So, Tim, to kind of so that I understand or that we're rereading this in the different A, B, C, D columns that you have here, the first line within that, so under A, it, it, 2018 budget proceeds budgeted 322,000. Mm -hmm. Then what we need is 322 to 540, and that's why you have it there. Whereas if we go down to the mm -hmm. last item on the first page, overlook mm -hmm. A, it's got 382. Right. But then the the next roll that you have is 62,000. So we're not asking for 382,000. Correct. You're right. not. You're only asking for the 62. Right. Then so we'll go to mm -hmm. East Riverbank Bike. And then that'll be under B, the 1.3 million, and it's only the 42. Correct. And then underneath regional aquatics facility A, it's two, uh, 2.5 million, and then there's nothing there. So, so we're right, the black numbers are what was in the original 2018 budget. The red numbers is actually what we're going to. Yeah. Yeah, we're I'm requesting to. I oh, it was black one. Oh. Yeah, so, it's <laughs> <laughs> so that would explain. Me. Yeah. Here's a red one. Oh, yeah. I got it highlighted now. Thank you. Okay, but so I, aside short of we're looking to pay for something that for work that's already been approved and pretty much almost done, basically. Yeah, because it was so part of the funding source and right. to allocate yeah. for it because it was yeah. approved through the budget process. Right, yeah. but we're still bonding to pay for work that's already being done. We're looking to right. if, prove it. it. Yeah, and if you notice, like, you, you know, they say 218 debt proceeds, I have that line item reimbursed is because for some of these projects, we're actually going to well, be incurring expenditures before we actually close on the bonds. And the IRS... Um, guidelines dictate that if you intend to reimburse yourselves from debt proceeds, you have to declare that intent. And back in 2016, this, this, the city authorized me to be able to declare that intent, and so that's why I was getting an estimate of like what we might need to reimburse ourselves for um, expenditures incurred prior to receiving the bond or no okay. issue proceeds. And then in terms of this particular situation, mm -hmm. Shane, it. it municipalities are actually realizing a little bit of a savings by paying an engineering firm to okay. look at the whole project because then okay. you know whether you can go to a phase two a phase three for the budgeting purpose of right. that for the consecutive years okay. so that that is pretty consistent to pay a consulting yeah. firm already phase two and three for them to do it so oh no i 
just curious. It does seem <laughs> I don't have a problem with it. It, does seem <laughs> it, does, it just seems, yeah, yeah, it just seems backwards. I, that I, I was going to bring that up, what, what you had mentioned. Like, that does seem... But, okay. Tarp for the horse. Well, you know, sometimes exactly, you know, you know, you know, determine yeah. exactly what you're, you, you, what it's going to be, the cost or whatever. Sometimes you have to incur that expenditure to, to kind of design it and see what it, what it would you know what the elements are going to be, what types of issues there are, what it's going to cost. There's a lot of things that are you know are beneficial to having that design, paying for that design, so that you know and make better decisions based on better information. And yeah, we, we may not have even have we paid that amount actually to MSA, or is that what we potentially owe them in the future for the phase two? Yeah. Uh, we still have that's that's the approximate what we have left on the design contract exactly so it's not even incurred yet technically it's correct yeah we're in the midst of it you know but we will be incurring it uh, see but that was the uh, estimate I got from my other concern might be we're asking to design something that this council may not be interested in doing any longer mm -hmm. you know so uh, I, I'm just I'll be curious to see what all the different phases are and what they include yeah just quick comment you, you you had made the comment about you know um, doing work and, and now acquiring the funds after the fact um, you know for financing municipal projects the you know the, the taxes that come in oftentimes you know it, they, they're, they're not all here on general one so you know through the process of council approval on projects uh, the budget itself oftentimes there are uh, you know costs that are paid before our but those costs don't have a, f a finance charge on them though no. you know when we're waiting for taxes we're not paying a finance fee on them well so we may be right i mean there may be um short-term loans for um you know for cash flow purposes i mean there are there are times where that can happen if we have plenty of reserves that's not an issue but um you know so it's not it's 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 not unusual no i I'm just, like I said, I'm curious about what the phases are in the projects and maybe we need to sit down with that. Just so I can get caught up to speed mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm -hmm. and just to be clear, we're talking about um, this meeting or to get followed up right before the city council meeting next month or next week. Yeah, or two weeks. weeks. That's fifth, correct. Yes. So it's going to be an hour? Um, yes, an hour and a half ish, hour and a half ish, depending on. Oh, orientation. Oh, orientation. orientation. Yeah, yeah. Orientation. We, have, we don't have a set about, oh, agenda okay. at this moment. So but I yes, we are willing to. So I didn't bring this up before. For it, but. but it would be very hard for me to vote for anything when it comes to this type of money when we don't have a clear scope of what's going on. The library project that was brought up earlier, I didn't say anything on it, but the bad part about it is, in my opinion, is, is that I haven't been brought up to speed on what that project is. Well, that's brand new, though. That's the first time this appearing before a committee was. Done. Yep. And, and no, it's brand new. The budget. budget. Yeah. They went through yeah. multiple budget discussions, and it's yeah, this I, I understand the sensitivity of that. Have you? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and once again, I'm still very reserved in the fact that you guys are asking me in the, in the way this is set up is that we didn't have this meeting and now we're asking to have this right before I'm supposed to make a decision on a vote. So I feel like I'm being left out of the information on what's going on and what has happened in the past because we didn't get caught up to speed and I feel like this is an annual thing that we should bring up with any new alderman that this should be a meeting right after they're appointed or right after they get sworn in that come in tomorrow or whatever we are setting up with department heads we are going to hash this out because you need to understand that you're going to make decisions about millions of dollars and I just want to be very clear because if I this is just the way I work if I don't fully understand which is why I took the day off yesterday to walk that water project down because if I don't fully understand the projects I'm either going to table it or I'm going to turn, turn it down because that's not fair to me to be asked to make that decision and I just wanted to be clear because I you know it's a fair I was just going to comment that take the uh, West Side Lift Station project, yeah. right? So three budget cycles ago, two councils ago, that project was initiated. So I think to to I completely understand what you're yeah. saying. As are the contracts that are oftentimes whether you're going to operate under a budget now yeah. for seven months, uh, as did I, you know, my predecessor's budget seven months before I got a crack at it. So I think you make a really good point, but understand that a lot of times contracts and things are initiated well before anybody else's time. And it's a good point because at that point, okay, you got to reassess priorities. Priorities can and should change. It should be dynamic. I mean, 
I hope that they don't drastically change from the standpoint of, well, if a community thinks a priority is this and now all of a sudden we're going to shelve it, you know, that, that could create a lot of anxiety given staff and, and community time invested. But I, I agree with what you're saying. And sometimes you have to accept the previous contracts, previous decisions which you inherited. And I'm not telling you how you have yep. to appear, appear your role. Well, that's just kind of that, that chicken egg tough dynamic we're all in, I think, when you when you have a, you're, you're a new person in, a, in an open seat or a, in a seat that was. Yep. Well, I, I mean, if something's on an agenda that I don't understand, maybe procedurally, I, you know, Google it, try to find, you know, uh, press reports or whatever, <laughs> or step-by-step -step instructions. Or but, um, I mean, sometimes getting an agenda, like on a Friday for a Tuesday meeting, is kind of hard. It doesn't give you a lot of time to view it, you know. But, but I guess let's get back on uh, yeah, item six. number Six here. Does anyone have uh, any other questions or comments? So, by approving this, what what is the essence of is that telling you, Tim? Basically, just reaffirming that because before we start incurring costs to do the issue, and some of these, like in, in the case of the East River Bank, we've already left the contract, signed the contract. Is that but basically what we're just saying is okay, we're proceeding with the revised debt issue. And then uh, basically for sale, and then we'll have the sale of the, the, the notes on the June, but basically we'll proceed with uh, retaining the bond attorney, you know, and obviously the beginning the credit rating for Moody's and uh, then we'll go, you know, initiating the official statement. So basically it's mm -hmm. to make it like a one sentence this time. By approving this, it, it'll be basically issuing or the approval of issuing yeah, 2.1545. Basically, we're, you're just really approving to go through it because we don't really, yeah. you don't really officially approve the bonds until you actually approve the sale of the notes. Okay. You know, that's when, okay. you know, uh, Ellers, our financial advisor, gets bids from all the different uh, investors out there and that actually brings that forward. And then that's when you're actually doing the resolution to approve the sale of the notes. Okay, they get a tavern license. So, yeah. Yeah, so the, so the question isn't necessarily whether you're approving the projects or not. Those were done through the last budget cycle, but it's how we fund, how we finance. So if we were, for example, to say, you know what, we don't need to do the loans. We're going to take the money from the community source, right? Um, and that, that really is what, what this process is about, is following the budget as it was adopted. And, and so it's not like you're, um, if you were being asked, or if you're uncertain, certainly ask. Mm -hmm. uh, if, yeah. a, you know, if a project, if you feel that a project is being tossed out in front of you, and it's something that you're not familiar with, you know, question might be, hey, is this something that was moved forward through the process, and how far is it through the process? Are we deciding on a project, or are we basically going through some of the red tape involved in proceeding to completion now that we've started? Right, I mean, and that's that's something that's going to take a little bit of time to get everybody up to speed. And, and in in um, in preparation of the upcoming meeting too, if there are specific projects you have questions with, um, shoot an email, and I'll try to make sure that we have details really to satisfy those specific questions as you know, best we can. Well, and I think that's probably what I, at least I'm looking for is something like a, a capital improvements plan, where we are, what we have on a list to do where we are in the project, how far, how deep we're into that project. Sure. Obviously we're inheriting some of the previous council's decisions and projects. Um, and obviously we can't take $763,576 and say we're not gonna do that any longer. You know, it's just the way it is. We're, that's what phase one is happening and we have to pay for it. You know, and I get that. But yeah, I'm just, that's what I'm looking for, is finding out where we're at and how deep we're into projects. And you know, obviously there's a priority, you know, the Clean Water Fund loan, it was a high priority. And, you know, some things are, not to say feel good, but some things aren't to that level of, we've got to fix a wastewater pipe. So that's why I just kind of want to know where we're at, at least on the financial end of it. With that being said, yeah. I will make the motion to uh, adopt uh, the approved revised 2018 debt issue.
schedule. I'll second. There's a motion and a second to approve. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Agenda item number seven, preliminary review and approval of the 2018-2019 liquor, beer, wine license applications. I think we all looked at them. Just a little clarity. Um, we don't need to approve them all tonight because the license in here is actually July 1 to June 30th, so we'll do the approval next month. But I would like approval for Wisconsin Rapids men's and women's softball because their season is beginning. And they have their they have their licenses per the Agent Gray at the Department of Revenue. We could issue their licenses already because they're paid up. And yeah, they're six month licenses. Yep. They're not yearly renewals. Yep. So those are the only ones I'm looking for approval on. But as far as updates, uh, Side Roads Tavern does not look like they will be renewing. Um, so we will have uh, Class B, combination Class B beer and liquor license that will be made available to the public after, well, if Side Roads fails to renew. So that would be the only combo license that we have available? Yes. Do we have any reserves out there at all? Um, Baker Street would probably Baker be Street's left to Oh, yeah, I suppose Baker's. Yeah. Yeah, they, wouldn't yeah, they surrendered theirs. Um, the reserves, I'd have to look into the files to give you a count on it. Um, the quota system from in the state statutes is complicated. Yeah, it's very complicated. And uh, I've even reached out to people at the Department of Revenue and attorneys as well to try to figure out a good, solid quantity of liquor licenses so I can keep track of that. And I've they, they did not help me. Uh, very much. No, there was a mass exodus from the Department of Revenue. Roger yeah. Johnson isn't there anymore. Maybe Attorney Mackey down in uh, Macy down in Milwaukee. Yeah. He, he seems to be kind of a. Yeah, so I'm just trying to I'm trying to get a good hold on our quota so we can proceed. But I mean, it, it's a you know it's it's it changes. You know, there's because the only thing that I would be concerned about is if those two that we potentially might be coming back if they turn into reserve licenses because we've already got reserves already issued out. Yeah. So then now would they should be because once no. once yeah. reserves are once a reserve it's always a reserve. Okay. Yeah. So but, but someone could surrender a reserve and try to get yeah. a, a regular one. Right. Yeah. Which you know whether you want to do that or not. But that the part with reserves though is now with the law that he used to be with that ten thousand dollars we could we could give the property owner the kind of that money back economic through the economic development yeah. and now they won't allow it, us to do that so it really is a ten thousand oh, really? dollar license yeah oh. so <coughs> it, it is much better to have a regular license obviously huh. but yeah i'm not sure where we're at with reserves and how many and i have a few yeah. offhand i can tell else community cedar but yeah, I'd have to review the licenses to give you an accurate count. I'll make a motion to approve. Um, I guess you're looking for just approval of the men's and women's yeah. softball yeah, we'll six month license. Final approval next month. Mm -hmm. Then a review. How's I guess? Oh, well, I got a motion out there. I'll so. second. Um, how's re how's the process going? Is there any Great. issues with any of them? Or? One, there's one, and it was documented. I did let uh, chairperson know that. Uh, there's Johnny's, Johnny, Johnny Rapids, I think it's on A Street. Uh, there was a, there's some documentation in there about an incident. Other than that, um, actually the renewal process went swimmingly this year. It's, everybody's been very timely and we haven't had to be chasing people around. So that's been nice. There is a motion and a second to approve those two specific licenses. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item number eight, beverage operator license applications. Well, these do need to be approved, right, Paul? I'll make a motion to approve the new and the renewals. That's how it's set up. I'll second. Were there any that were held out? Or it doesn't I look like so. any, I didn't see any flag or anything. That no. There's just one needed a form. 
at a city and just yeah, and that's that's we, we hold the license until they turn that in. As well. There is a motion and a second to approve the beverage operator license applications. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item 9, audit of the bills for April 2018. Um, I see a lot of, <coughs> in last month I've noticed too, is MSA, where, is that all for designs and services and those type of things? Yeah, for yeah, actually, uh, uh, I actually I can forward you an email. Um, there was another request. Uh, we, we have all well, the MSA contracts and stuff. And that's, oh, really? That's it's for a variety of projects from you know, the aquatic center to um, design for our, some of our street construction, our, our normal public works construction projects, um, to some stormwater utility they, they help manage our stormwater utility plan or management plan do we used to do that in-house or before uh, some of the street construction stuff yeah it's, it basically is we're, we're trying to get caught up so we can design out two oh. years so then okay. that we have a better way to the budget for those and you know so that plan we're, then, you know, we're, we're better prepared in the construction oh season. good so is that a two-year basically yes. what we're trying to achieve yep. there um, we, use, we use them for some uh, Routine construction design work is a stopgap measure. Yep. Okay. Uh, our, our plans had been completed and handed out literally as the excavator was starting to excavate, and it, and it, uh, it doesn't make for uh, good relations with uh, with uh, with our other utilities, and it's it's challenging for our staff and uh, planning. So so right. So um, the purpose of this, by having the plans done a year in advance, is we will have. Our, our staff work with our engineers in developing budget numbers, with better assessment of uh, time estimations. We can do the quantity estimations easily, but it's those time estimations that we really need the uh, assistance of some of the staff in the field. We should be better prepared. So then are we going to be a year ahead then? So then ahead. you guys will be able, your department will be able to Doing all the design. Do down the road. Okay. Uh, unless we get to a point in time again where we're getting behind. Back up. We'll, yeah, okay. we are evaluating um, these types of costs versus in-house staffing costs and you know it, as we look at projects in the future uh, what makes the most sense oh I don't have a problem with you know contracting out some things to get right. caught up I'd rather sometimes see that rather than adding yep. additional staff right. for a temporary fix Superman um, for 40 the only concern I had um, oh. I'm sorry was sorry uh, was for the information that you had sent me mm -hmm. Um, I had noticed some transfers from different accounts, and I was wondering how how does that work? And I don't see it here. Um, it's for two different accounts. Yeah. Uh, I was trying to find it while you get here. <laughs> well, I'll jump ahead. Then. Yeah, you know, Superman. Superman. That that would be for the that's the design, the final design on the, the East River Bank Phase One. So are we still? Beyond this, are we still tied in with them, or is that kind of it? That, at this point, that'll be the last contract with them. It's, it, it's the final design. Okay. Yeah. And they, they partnered with MSA on that. Oh, okay. So MSA is a subcontractor for us on that. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That's all I have. Just, just wondering, yeah, we still were. Still had obligations with Supermaster if we were done with them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not done with them, but <laughs> we completed our relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sorry to tie it up, but do you remember the email you sent me when I asked for some of the information and you sent me three individual files? And they were each 207 pages long. I read through every single page. And when I got to the bottom, I would say about page 193, if I had to guess right. Oh, it seemed like there were transfers from certain accounts. And my question is, can you transfer money out of accounts and to other, can you transfer that money without approval through the finance committee? Or between what, the, uh, from Clark to engineering? Is that kind uh, of like that? Uh, budget budget I wish I could pull it up quick. You're probably talking about payables. I would imagine that yeah. journal entries. Yeah, journal entries. It might be the quarterly. Are you, are you talking about the expenditure, expenditure reports that are out on the yeah. Google Drive? Yep. Okay. Right. Oh. 
I think we're going to I think we're just going to stay with April bills, and I mean that's something that we probably have to look into further anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so however you want to do that, if you want to refer or something, just communicate with him. Right, because like you know, like say like we have the debt service fund, mm -hmm. and what we'll do is is that we budget for in a governmental county, we'll budget for like say all our debt and interest payments in the debt service fund, but there's other funding sources like, other than the tax levy we budget in there, but like the sewer utility, clean water fund loan. And so what we'll do is to pay those, well actually it's, it's an accounting journal entry transfer the money into that account then to, to pay those obligations because mm -hmm. then the, the principal and interest is paid out of the debt service fund, but the revenue is in the sewer utility. Yep. And so that, that transfer is budgeted in the, in the 2008 budget, so let's say transfer to debt service fund. And so okay. what you're seeing that expenditure is my accounting entry to actually transfer the, okay. the money yeah. to there. And I can meet up with you too. Yep. Yeah, if, like I said, if you have any questions or stuff, just. And those are, that's in that monthly yeah. budget update. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'll yeah. be looking forward to your new software though. Oh, it's, it's a little friendly so to look at. <laughs> It'll be nice at new sign. It'll I, be really nice. I always hate to look at it, though. But okay. <laughs> and then what it could be, too, is... But it, yeah, like, I'll transfer money from our investment accounts into our checking accounts for cash flow purposes, too. Yeah. But, well, and stuff like that. Water and Light collects the sewer proceeds, mm -hmm. so right. they would need to distribute them back right. to us. Yeah. So. So <laughs> but if you say anything in there that you want to know, that, yeah, no problem. Thanks, sir. Make a motion then to approve check number 71841 through 72149 and manual checks 99660 through 99675. I'll second it. Just so you note that I think those bills are through April 25th because of the timing of the meeting will be on May 1st. So I'll pick the 25th through the 30th up in the May bills. Just so you know that. Any other questions about the bills? All in favor of the motion say, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item number 10, set next meeting date. I guess, you know, I, I, I like having a consistent date, like we do at 5 o'clock on Tuesday. I don't know how everybody else feels. And the same with, you know, Tom's got a 6 o'clock meeting. It's just kind of nice to be able to come and like next bang, bang. And uh, yeah, unless there's something going on, I guess I'm just requesting if, if it works in your guys' schedule that we just five o'clock first Tuesday of the month and that's fine just, just to note though HR is meeting on June 1st next month at five yeah all three oh because of yeah, yeah I, I know I have heard that there's a conflict with the schedule or something so you know, I guess I'm not going to worry about HR to be honest Okay. Well, not that I, I don't, don't have an issue with it but I think you're right I just thought maybe you wanted to try to set all the committees on the same day or whatever it's I got. I think it sounds like isn't HR going to be on Fridays possibly or it sounds like that, something. Yeah. I, that's up to HR, but I think for our consistent purposes, it would be every Tuesday works for me. I mean, yeah. the first, third. Then we can all just last, put our schedule matter. that we can plan five o'clock on Tuesday. I think time will probably continue six on Tuesday or mm -hmm. yep. so. It's back, it's back to back, which is nice. So June fifth, five p.m. Sure. Wrapped up by six. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we got a At one time, we did try to have them all on one night. Mm -hmm. And it did go for a while. And we got away from it, I guess. Yeah. I, just, I think it's simple to plan. You know, because I remember because we used to do two council meetings a month, and we went to one and we put all the committees on that on this first one. Yeah, the history of that. I mean, yeah. and that makes sense to do it that way. Because it was literally a, a throw a dart at a dartboard or a calendar. You didn't know when the meeting was going to be. And, they're all over the place. And I would I would prefer the first Tuesday all three committees. But yeah, uh, right. I'm, I don't right. like to. I agree with you. My availability is a lot different than other people, so I just try to go with the flow. But okay, then question, yeah, and maybe it's something we can discuss further. But how are referrals handled? You know, are you doing the agendas now? Yeah. So. <laughs> So if I have a referral, do I submit it? My concern is it, it's Steve Colt's referral. You know, he had a referral about drug paraphernalia, and I, it never got on an agenda. And so that who's deciding what goes on the agendas and what? Yeah, basically, you know, 
the referrals I get, you know, then obviously I put them in there and then I usually send it out to the mayor and city attorney just to kind of review and stuff like that. Okay. Um, but as far as, you know, like, like that one, sometimes it's a department like, like, okay, what is the appropriate committee? Sometimes it's unclear or, you know, is it an ordinance issue? Is it, you know? I, honestly, I just don't want things filtered by anybody before it comes right. to the community, committee or, you know, if the chairman decides or you know, yeah. we want something on there, I don't want anybody filtering it because I don't think they have I, that authority. I mean, I, you know, my personal feeling on referrals, and it's like I know they can be verbally, but I wish all referrals were in writing so yeah. it's very clear as to what's being requested and what it's doing. Like so that public way, works is handling, handling, you know, handling it. Because yeah. sometimes I think that's how they get lost. It's a verbal, right. people remember, and then they forget about it, but if it's written or submitted to the clerk, whatever, then yeah. it can do be internally vetted and get on the right committee. Have a form? Because we, 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 we used that. We yeah we used to we have a we have a Google Drive one. We use an automated a, form now. Yeah, but I because I so, like how your referrals are listed. Yeah, you know, and that one time maybe I was against that, but it, it just it's back in the day. But it, it, maybe it's something that we you know I don't really know if we have a, like a formal referral policy that shows okay this is how it's going to be done. This is so everyone's doing it consistently, whether it's from a citizen an older person or a staff member that we're all doing it the same. Yep, and it's all going through the same process and that might be something we want to consider is putting together that formal policy just right to how the even if, even if you the guys are, are wrestling with a referral internally I think we need to be aware of it right. you know and, and instead of all of a sudden it's dropped on the agenda here you go and well and I think the purest form is is that it's the committee chairperson should decide the agenda right? yeah the his agenda I can so. tell you with, with public works what generally happens is we'll look through mm -hmm. the referrals and we'll, yeah. we'll see if we're prepared you know if, if the staff has prepared things Put together a draft. The draft goes to the, for the to the chair and the mayor for review and comment, and they make the decision. No, I should well, even go to mayor. Yeah, yeah I was going to say it's to totally up to the chairman, in my opinion too. Well, it, you know, maybe that's something. I mean, obviously, it's not an agenda night, but maybe right. you know, for the next committee, committee if, if the finance committee wants to discuss how they want to handle the referrals, yeah. maybe I'll, I can put it on the next agenda, and then we can discuss it. And yeah, let's do that because I know if a citizen wants to make a referral. It's very confusing for them. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, and I agree that mm -hmm. a citizen may have a referral, but but at a time it might be something. But you can talk to Tim, and here's your answer. You know that kind of thing. So there has to be a way to kind of yeah. chew it out, and spit it yeah. out. Uh, they need to be the right spot. It so it might not be feasible, right. or, or yeah. not yeah. legal, or not. But, but at least I'd yeah. be nice to know kind of what's hanging out there. Okay. Like you have you guys. You know, it, it's right there. You have a. I see a cross through it, and like okay, we're well. Like, like I said, I'll, I'll put the, the finance referral process on the next agenda, and okay. we can have a discussion on how you guys want to handle and vet your referrals. And if yeah. you want a referral just, list or whatever, we can we can develop or that some too. something. So like, uh, Steve's mm -hmm. doesn't get lost in the process, right. or not that anybody would, but bury it and not mm -hmm. put it on there, okay. you know, for a personal opinion or whatever. So just so then we're all aware of what's going on or hanging out there. Some of the going to put a referral for a referral. Every committee, though, I mean, every committee should really have a, a chairperson that decides what their agenda is. I, I would work with obviously Tom and Terry work together and putting because, yeah, you have to know if you're actually ready to go for approval or process, but just knowing that it's out there and that it's being worked on would be helpful. Yeah, or you or Todd, Tom could call Terry and say, hey, you know, I Todd's see this work. He's last meeting, he made a referral that I act as like a liaison for common council referrals. So I update people on the process. Uh, mm -hmm. um, well, technically, you are, you know, because yeah. if we communicate, yeah. board members shouldn't email each other, they should email the clerk, and then the clerk is the one that disseminates yeah. that information. And, and I, I do that frequently, yeah, um, yeah, but yeah, I would say like. Nine nine out of ten referrals are staff. Mm -hmm. They're intern. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, right. like I don't I don't get a lot from the common council. I get probably actually probably more like you know and twenty nine out of thirty are staff. Mm -hmm. A reoccurring business. So yeah, sure. I can understand a reoccurring business. Yeah. So it's just mm -hmm. some of those different things, but yeah. just so we're a little bit involved and in not being hand fed what we will. I just want to be aware of what's going on. 
maybe we could even call a committee of the whole meeting and actually discuss all these different things that we want to create as policies. And that was going to be my suggestion. I think as a council as a whole, we should say set some sort of deadlines uh, or yeah. I mean, if a committee needs process. to vary, you know, deviate from that a little bit because of their unique situation, what they hear, like yours. I mean. Then that's something. But I think I think all the committees should be at least somewhat on the same page, so we know what to tell people. Consistency, right? Yeah, absolutely, right. And I think, yeah, I think we're lacking that a little bit. But. Great. All right. Uh, agenda item number eleven is adjournment. So move. Everyone's favor. All second. second. <laughs> Kubishak seconds. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. And we are adjourned. Six sixteen.